Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a, a brief presentation on Anuta Networks uh, uh, NCloudX product. My name is uh, Srini B. Reddy. Uh, I'm a co-founder and uh, CTO of uh, Anuta Networks. So what we have here um, at Anuta is uh, it's a network controller. Okay, it, uh, it provides the, it takes the existing network and provides the network as a service. All the functionality that is required to make your network and offer it as a network as a service. So we have um, NCloudX supports uh, multiple uh, devices uh, from various uh, vendors like Cisco, uh, uh, Juniper, Citrix, uh, uh, F5 load balancer, things like that. And also we support multiple network topologies and various uh, form factors also, like uh, physical devices and virtual devices. Before I go um, deeper into the uh, NCloudX product, uh, let me uh, talk about actually what are the challenges in creating the network services, okay? Let's say uh, you, are, you are a provider trying to onboard a, a network for a tenant or for an application. What you need to do is provision the network uh, these uh, services at various uh, uh, levels, okay? It ne you need to provision the uh, access policies at your uh, vantage, and also you need to provision the layer three isolations, layer two isolations, and uh, uh, security policies, load balancer policies, things like that. Basically, it takes, it involves a lot of uh, manual configuration, and it, it roughly takes about 200 or uh, 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 API, CLI or API commands. And also usually it's a ma very manual, so it's very error prone. Uh, what we are doing with the uh, NCloudX uh, product is automating the whole process. We give you a service designer to design the network services that you want to offer to your customers. And uh, once those uh, services are designed, they can be published into the catalog and then when the customers or applications requesting those network services, we deploy them, we provision the network resources, and uh, once the deployment is done, uh, we manage those network services. So this is uh, our um, NCloudX architecture. Basically, we have a net network abstraction uh, engine which abstracts the legacy physical devices programmable network devices, and also we can talk to uh, STN controllers uh, to use the virtual networking features that they provide. And the core of our uh, uh, product is the bunch of engines, actually, network service design engine, orchestration engine, and uh, uh, service management engine. Okay, all this functionality is exposed via the REST API so that uh, uh, this functionality can be integrated into the various cloud portals, such as uh, uh, CloudStack, OpenStack, and vCloud Director. In fact, we have a integration with the vCloud Director and OpenStack. So any OpenStack uh, integration we actually show in our demo today. Let me go deeper into the uh, what we provide. The, we provide the entire life cycle of the network services. We starting with uh, device discovery. So uh, using the various protocols like C, uh, SNMP, CDP, LLDP, we can discover the devices in the network, how they are connected with each other, and uh, what are the capabilities of those uh, devices. And then using that information, we construct the network topology. And once that is done, uh, providers can design the network services they want to offer uh, on their infrastructure. So, and we, we'll, we'll go more deeper into the, how we enable providers to design the network services. When the network services are designed and published into the catalog, they can be uh, ordered by, are available to the cloud portals. 
And when the uh, artist order those services, we look at the uh, actual infrastructure and uh, map the, these logical network constructs into the uh, resources and provisioning required on the network infrastructure, provision these network services. And after that, we actually manage those network services to enable the troubleshooting. So this is our uh, uh, network ser uh, service design engine. So what we provide is the basic building blocks required, such as uh, a firewall service, load balancer service, virtual networking, layer three isolation, layer two isolation. And using these basic building blocks, providers can uh, stitch the uh, services, basically define a service templates and publish them into the catalog. And not only they specify what are the features of those network services, and they can also specify whether, uh, what are the quality attributes, what are the uh, uh, other, uh, some other attributes they can uh, specify. And uh, they publish that into the catalog, and when they, these services are ordered, we orchestrate these services by looking, by mapping these logical uh, uh, network features and looking at the actual infrastructure, what capabilities are there. So based on that information, we map these uh, logical networks into the operations required to be done on the actual physical uh, network. So the, your network infrastructure may have a physical appliances or the virtual appliances. So we understand both of that and map uh, uh, with respect to the what service designs uh, specifies. So once the services are uh, designed and uh, deployed, so we use our uh, service uh, management engine. Since our Encloud X uh, orchestrated the services, we exactly know where those services are provisioned, which devices we have picked, which interfaces we have used, what are the logical resources we have consumed for that uh, service. Uh, so we have the complete map. Using that information, uh, we, we use that information basically to manage those services, such as, uh, let's say, if there is a um, alarm at the network side, or there is a device down or an interface down, we can map that it into uh, what is the service that is getting affected by that uh, uh, alarm and generate a service level alert. And we can also map that basically which tenants are uh, uh, going to be affected by, by that uh, alarm. In addition to the uh, service management engine, we have a capacity management engine, uh, which monitors the, the capacity, network capacity at real time, whether they are the logical resources or the physical resources. And we provide the uh, threshold-based alerts too, so that uh, if a particular uh, resource is consumption is high, uh, we, based on the thresholds that are set, we, we provide uh, those alerts. So for example, uh, a gold service requires uh, a firewall, okay? And if you, you run out of the firewall context or you reach a certain threshold, uh, we will alert the administration. And also we provide a, a network-wide health monitoring, pod level network-wide health monitoring. Using this information, it will enable the providers to optimize the network utilization. So that briefly talks about the, the features that we provide. Now let's look at the uh, integration that we have, especially with the OpenStack. So we have developed a quantum plugin uh, using the Grizzly re release. We haven't yet published, but we're going to publish it in the uh, Havana cycle. And we have a demo, actually, we can show uh, how we integrate with the OpenStack. So here is the one example of uh, uh, how we map the uh, OpenStack use case, networking use case into our, uh, our service design. Uh, here is a simple example of a, 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 a flat public network. 
specified by OpenStack, uh, one of the use case. So it can be represented into NCloudX as a, uh, a container which has a, a public zone and a, and a virtual network. Let's look at the little more complex example where uh, there is a private network required for uh, each of the tenant, okay? And uh, they, each tenant needs a private address space too. So that particular requirement can be represented in the NCloudX by using the uh, uh, diagram that I'm showing on the right-hand side where there is a public zone and a private zone and where the private zone has a firewall and L3 isolation to which virtual networks are connected. So I just want to highlight what we bring to the table with the uh, OpenStack and uh, uh, NCloudX together. It basically completes the whole uh, solution. So it is a complete solution to offer the storage network and uh, compute, okay? And in addition to that, we offer, uh, using the NCloudX, providers can define the network services they want to offer and exactly control how those network services are going to be provisioned, which part of their uh, data center uh, uh, location. And uh, they can offer differentiated services. They can offer, uh, they can uh, offer quality of service, they can put quality of service attributes to those services. Um, and also some security policies they can attach. So using uh, OpenStack and, and NCloudX, so they have a complete control on how the network services are going to be orchestrated and what part of the, their network. And we provide the complete visibility. And to summarize uh, our product, it, one of the main differentiation is we work with the existing infrastructure uh, to pro and uh, we provide the service design capability and that can be deployed and we manage the complete from layer two to two layer seven on a multi-vendor network. And also we support uh, various form factors like uh, um, we work with the physical appliances as well as the uh, virtual appliances. And uh, we also support the, uh, some overlays. We currently support VXLAN. And uh, we support uh, um, capacity management and service monitoring. So essentially, it provides the complete uh, network lifecycle management, which starts with the network service design, deployment, and then the management. Thank you all, and if you have any questions or you want to see the demo, uh, we are at uh, booth uh, C26 there. Okay, thank you.